Hi, everybody. This is uh, Silvio Canto in Dallas, uh, Texas, on Tuesday, March the 30th, and welcome to our video commentary. Well, we just got some new information from Mexico about their COVID situation, and the information is not good. Uh, this is a report that was published by the BBC. It's based on information that came from the Mexican authorities. But let me just give you a, a quick uh, summary of what it says. Mexico has raised its uh, number of people who've died from COVID to 310,000. This is a huge increase from what they were saying before. Uh, 310,000 out of a population of 130 million. Now compare that to the United States. We have 540,000, but a population of 330 million. So it's not quite three times more, but let's say two and a half times more than, than Mexico and look at our totals and look at theirs. So this information raises a question, a question that many of us raised when all of this started happening on the border and we were letting people in. The question is, why would you let people in from a country uh, in so much uncertainty about their COVID information and what's happening with COVID? I mean, why would you open the border at this time when there is frankly, uncertainty about the information, and now we know that the information is not good. I mean, why would you do it? Why wouldn't you say to the immigration activists, look, we can't do it right now. We have to make sure that COVID is out of the way, and then we'll deal with that later. It really raises a question as to whether or not President Biden understands what's going on with COVID, and at the same time, it really raises a question as to whether or not he can stand up to the people in his own party. And I think those are legitimate questions, and President Biden should get a question at the next press conference, whenever that is, about these new figures from Mexico, because this basically raises a big question mark on why we opened uh, the border at the time that we did. Thank you for watching, and if today is your birthday, happy birthday. Bye-bye, everybody.